Yeah. All right. I'm gonna stick with the reload speed. Although that's that's good. I really like it when stuff is so balanced that I need to actually like stop for a second and be like, is this even worth it? Uh, if I could use both, I would. That would be awesome. Reaver killed. Okay, so let's do the middle of nowhere. Let's go to Rust Commons East. Um, I'm going to skip Krom's Canyon because that's a thing where once you kill Krom, you're going to get his Iridian, uh, his vault key piece. And that's just going to progress the whole game. So I'm going to head to Ru uh, Rust Commons East. Oh, and everybody's mad at me. Rust Commons East, and then go do all of that. So I think the fastest way to get there is to actually go all the way to the um, quick travel over here, teleport to the real outer yard. So I'm gonna have to go to the outer pass, and then that'll bring me to the teleporter, which will bring me to Rust Commons East. Oh, also you can hold down and up and you'll go really fast. I used to use this for, <laughs> I used to use this because in my modded accounts I'd have something like 1100 weapons or more. And I think at one point I had 2500. So you really needed to hold down both of those because scrolling from the top of your inventory to the bottom uh, legitimately took a long time, which is weird to think about. When once I do all the claptrap missions, I think I'll be at 50 some or 42. I don't know, but yeah, it won't be that far. It won't be that far. And the way I play this game is I keep like the best assault rifle I have, best shotgun, best SMG, whatever. Um, and then I just keep those four on me, and then I save maybe like one weapon. It's really not worth keeping a ton. So let's fix this bounty board. Talk to Mr. Johns. Uh, Mr. Johns is, I think, alive. Yeah, he's right up there. That's why it already says I found him. And from here, he's going to give me a mission to go attack that little fucker somewhere. Wait, not yet. You, you don't kill the little fucker yet. Alright, let's just check out all of these. Nothing significant. Save me. Bing! And with that thing dinged, I can now teleport here. Hi there. Alright, bounty board fuses is way over there. Oh, can I snipe this guy? him right in the head. Alright, so let's uh, do a little bit of speedy up bit and head right to that area of the fuses gatherings. Jaffe, I need some water. Get some water, man. Because it's been a couple hours recording. I might just cut it here. Can I make an intro? Maybe I'll go watch a movie. What time is it? Can I make an outro? Seven. No. Hmm. I want to edit these. Not right now. All right, we are at the area for the fuses, and they are just in here. We kind of just got a break them. I think they're usually in the same three, so not that one over there, but the one back here. Yep, okay. So they're always in the same spots. I'm gonna ignore... No, I was gonna ignore these guys, but if they actually are giving me decent experience, I might as well fight them. Here, hey, everybody get mad at me. Because if they can all run at you, then you don't need to seek anything. Ah! Ah! I'm dazed and confused. <gasps> That's such a good move. Yeah, everybody says that. I didn't, I didn't get that kind of effect from it. Well, it's because you, like, you're not, like, you don't wish you grew up in that era. Because you, you don't like partying and stuff. It's true. See? You know, everybody wants to grow up then because they want to party like they did. Have those sweet cars. Oh, I'm already that age. And you know what's funny is, I don't know that anybody in my school is like that. 
they want to party like that and have those cool cars? Yeah, no, really, I don't. Are like, I mean, me? my school has jocks, but like... I don't... I don't know how to say it. It's like... They don't not... get in their cars and there's no one hot chick, they're just... God, high school is like really nothing like the shows made it out to be. Yeah, my high school's not like that either, but... And I don't know if that's relieving or not. It seems like everybody's more concerned about their future than they are about who to fuck. Even though they, they definitely <laughs> I think care that's about how who high to fuck. school should be is about their know. future. Although to an extent, like if you're only worried about your future, then you just you're never gonna enjoy the moment. Which exactly. Is so Life moves pretty fast. If you don't stop and look around once in a while, you could miss it. Who is that a quote from? I was gonna say, name that fucking movie. Come on, people. <laughs> I can't. Come on. <laughs> I don't watch it. No Ferris movies. Bueller's Day Off. Oh. You gotta see that movie. Wait, what? What is it called? Ferris Bueller's Day Off. What's it about? Ferris Bueller's Day Off. <laughs> well, I know, but like, what happened? Uh, he plays sick, he skips school, invites his friends to come with him, and they spend the entire day doing these amazing things instead of being in class. Oh. But, like, that doesn't justify the movie at all. It's funny as hell, it's kind of a coming-of-age movie where, like, by skipping sc it's it's funny, the irony, because by skipping school, you realize what's important in life, and it's, it's a pretty solid movie. It's almost like where you want a second movie because you want to know what happens to the characters, but you don't want a second movie because it could ruin it. Yeah, because there's nothing good that's going to happen to those characters. Yeah, exactly. Like, there's no... There's nothing to be redeemed in the next movie, but like, oh, you want to know what happens to them. Uh, or, uh, what you really want is, like, you know how at the end of some movie shit. tells you what happens to the characters and, like, what they're doing with their life? Yeah, you want that. Alright, so Surkovs are faster firing, less accurate, not as much damage sniper rifles that reload insanely fast. Um, they are a special brand, they got a yellow orange name, which is one of the first guns I've gotten that is like that. It's not quite good enough to replace the solid sniper that I'm using now, but it's definitely decent. By the way, the spider ants are supposed to be- <laughs> found them. I love this relaxing series. It is just, you know, when you ignore the view count, it's really an awesome series. Because it's just, it's much more relaxed. I just get to enjoy the game, play it. I love this game. I mean, it's fun as hell. It's been two hours, and I have no. I, I said I might quit, but like, it's not enjoyable. Okay. Oh, I got super excited about that leader class mod, and then it ended up being for a character that I'm not. I really kind of wish they would have disabled that for single player. However, getting those shields and class mod, well, not shield, but class mods that you can't even use as your character, it basically forces you to just sell it. And I mean, it's free money. So like that class mod right there, leader. I mean, 3,887. Not terribly significant, but I mean, four grand right there. And 15 grand right there. All right, Helena Pierce talk to. So let's... Middle of nowhere, scoot on back. So it's basically sending me back to New Haven. Let's get the bounty board, and you get a whole bunch of shit, including more journal days. I don't know exactly how the times are going to work for these videos, but it would be really convenient if I was able to have the entire video be the journal days, because I really do think they deserve it. They're, they're, pretty, they're pretty nice. They're like a minute or two each, and i got to do five of them, so that's like a third of the episode. I don't know. We'll see how it works out. It's no problem. Here's a fun fact. By making this video and not stopping playing Borderlands, I haven't checked YouTube or anything at all. And that's kind of important. You know? It's like... As with, I think, most YouTubers do, I check my channel probably a dozen or more times a day at least um, and that's not like 
it's not unhealthy it's just when you check your channel so much it's like when you if you check your sub count or if you check your views which I don't always do you really you get the impression that your channel's not growing as fast you know it's like I've checked my channel four times this hour haven't gained a single subscriber well of course not you've checked it constantly um, you gotta just relax with that stuff so. Uh, a friend of mine, Razeworks, has a channel that's doing quite well because one of his videos blew up and his videos are good. So the combination led to him having like almost 15,000 subscribers by now. Uh, one of his videos literally blew up and got a million views. It's not even an exaggeration. It literally got a million views. Um, and he said his goal is to get 10 views per video. And I think he told me he checks his, like, his YouTube stats slash comments. Like, he just checks his inbox, like, once a week. And I'm like, once a week? Now, I mean, if I checked my comments once a week and I uploaded daily, it would probably be 100 or so. Not, maybe not quite that many. And that would be kind of nice to reply to all at once, but... I do like the idea of interacting with people as soon as they talk to me. And I'm about to blow myself up because I just threw a fucking grenade. Get out of here! Oh, wait, it canceled? That's interesting. If you throw it and then go into the... Can you stop typing? Alright, so this is Chuck Durden. Circle of Slaughter, round one. So these guys go all the way up to round level 31 in the latest mission. So I'm just going to do this a couple of times. Really wish I had my flame SMG right now. Not going to lie. But let's take on some of these guys. It should be pretty easy, especially because I can one-shot a lot of these guys. Ooh, I'm going to be an elite consumer. Guys, I'm, I'm in phase. I'm so cool. Alright, challenge mode. Kill all of the psychos before they get to you. Boom! Well, that was the easiest round survived I've ever done. Not gonna lie, I've done this a lot before, and it has never gone that smooth. <laughs> like, really, it has never gone that smooth. So now they're gonna be levels... Here, who is this for? Level 29. So most of these guys are by default going to be a higher level than me. And then I'm just gonna hold off on this mission. I'm gonna keep it in my pocket once I complete this one. Uh, move on later. These can be mostly bruisers as well. And then from there... I, oh, that's a lot of people shooting at me. Alright, so I just decided to spam grenades and just hope that I... Okay, that's not good. If I don't get back up, I'm dead. If I don't get back up, I'm dead. No, no, just spam. No, it's a lost cause. I resign. Okay, well that didn't go well. That's twenty-five thousand dollars in the hole. Let's buy more sniper ammo, more SM. I don't know why I need SMG. I need grenades. Actually, SMG would be incredibly useful. We're gonna take a more hands-on approach this time. Alright, let's do this. Alright, got him down. Run at him! It's important to throw your Bloodwing out before you go down because you can't actually throw Bloodwing while you're down. So if you get him out, he'll do some damage and if you kill someone, then he'll bring you back up right as you go down. So, a little pro tip for you. But yeah, the double anarchy is doing its job right now. Crap. This is not good. This is not good. This is not good. No. <sighs> well, do I want to go in again? I mean, you lose a percentage of your total money, so it's not like I'm going to waste all of it, but... Wow, that was rough. Okay. I will give it exactly one more shot.
However, you do get XP for this, so it could be kind of a farm if you do it right. Alright, so let's take out the badass bruiser first. That's the plan, right there, okay. So let's take out the badass bruisers. And then use the little mini guys to get back up if I go down. Although it seems like this has gotten significantly Well, that went smoother. I think the rounds got easier because that was a different wave of enemies than the first two, um, which is nice, I guess. I kind of wanted to, <laughs> I kind of wanted to complete it the way it was intended. And if you hold X, it'll pick it up. <sighs> okay, so I'm not gonna do this next one because those guys were already two levels higher than me, and this next one's gonna be even more difficult. I think they're gonna be like level 30s, so I'm gonna hold off on that for now sell what I've got. I just sold my Alright, so I'm going to hold off on the rounds from now on and probably end it here. I'm going to move on, do all these missions, especially the hidden journal. Got to look forward to that. But I'm going to cut the episode here and if this isn't quite 15 minutes, then I'll patch it up with my next recording. Otherwise, this will probably be the end. So, thanks for watching and or cutting to the next clip. I don't know.